Hello everybody, welcome back. We're doing some more Binding of Isaac Repentance and we're doing Tainted Jacob. He's got to do negative. I was going to say it matters if we get the angel deal, but it doesn't because this angel deal was actually our devil deal. It was actually our devil deal. And now it doesn't matter because it's going to be a devil deal in the next four anyways since we won't get a devil deal here. Which is nice. Because that makes it so we still get a chance to get our angel deal. On the set, like third way around, basically. It's hard to explain, but it's fine. Everything works out. A bomb? Okay, do we want to fight the angel though in this like circumstance? We make bad choices, okay? Can we be nice? Can we be nice? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! What is that? That's unbelievable. The fucking confessional in the corner of the room. Well, I, I guess we're doing another challenge. Every time I die now, I'm just going to do a challenge. We took an unnecessary risk. We are not doing ultra hard. That is not happening. We are doing baptism by fire. This is the flamethrower challenge. Now, yeah, this is the flamethrower challenge. It's also a pain in the ass, if I recall. It's uh, We have to use the flamethrower. This sucks. And it uses our... Hold on. It uses our soul hearts... Oh, God, this sucks. I remember this one now. Oh, no. This this is ass. This is this is one of the bad one, boys. This is actually terrible. Hold on. Because we need to be really tactical. Like, really fucking tactical with it. If we're not tactical with it, we're going to struggle big time. Because there is no way for us to do damage yet. We need a self-damaging, like, item. An orbital something. Something that'll let us attack for free. Because then we can get stuff for the flamethrower. Because pretty much the concept of this challenge is you use soul hearts to fuel this item. It's called a... It's, some, it's like the urn of souls or something. I don't know. It's a bad item. But basically, you can kill enemies and get charges for it to use it. But... You need soul hearts to use it, and you don't get tears in this run. And you can you start with Guppy's paw, which lets you turn your red HP into soul hearts. But eventually, it kind of turns into the situation of, well, what if I don't have any HP? You die. Because you run out of HP to turn into, like, soul hearts to actually attack with. So what you need is a way to attack without using the freaking flamethrower. The run sucks. I mean, I'm just going to tell you right now. This this run sucks. Now, I don't think there's any purpose to really go in there. Actually, hold on. We can we can do a hit because we we did the one thing. We killed him under a minute, right? Okay, well, whatever. I don't I don't care. Fuck you. We're going to go back into here. We don't have a bomb. Ew, we do not have a bomb, do we? No bomb, Andy? Oh, well, that sucks. I was going to actually play that, but never mind. Uh, we have pentagram. I don't think that matters. I don't think it matters. Is the urn actually affected by damage stats? I don't know. Weird. I can't remember. It probably isn't, but maybe... Oh, shite. Uh, we gotta be really careful. Oh, we have a... Oh, yeah, we have Maggie's faith. That is the only way for us to get HP. And we just lost our HP up, but it's fine. We, we have to be like tap fiery with this but we also have to be very efficient and if we miss it all well we're basically like playing with our hp our hp is our attack it's not a fun run this is a very boring run i think because it ends up being this problem of well you want to attack right in some rooms you just gotta like spam and because i don't know you're just getting rushed by like hordes of enemies but like if you spam and they don't turn into other enemies like that, you're screwed. I don't... I think I tried this once on stream and we failed horribly. But... I don't know. We'll see what happens here. This might, this feels like it's going better. You can see our charges in the top left there. It kind of overlaps with Guppy's Paw. Um... I mean, bosses are the big problem. But I guess it, like, Turdling isn't that bad because he spawns a bunch of like of the pooplings which is nice because they turn into like free azazel's rage um 
Why did we? Why did we? Why did I waste freaking charges for that? That's stupid. Okay, break that. Did we take Azazel's rage? Clearing four rooms fires a large brimstone peering upon entering the next room. I like it. I like it because I like it because it's free damage, and I think that's what we need first and foremost. Who are we going to? Isaac. We're going to Isaac. Okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I guess we'll see what happens here. I feel like we just wasted a lot of charges there. The worst part about the whole Maggie's Faith thing is that since we can't actually have soul hearts, yeah, basically we'll never freaking get away with it unless you don't get hit on the entire four. I mean, I guess if you have Holy Mantle, that's like one way to get a free, I, I guess, hit every room, which is nice. I don't know. It, it just, oh, well, I'm stupid. Well, now we definitely don't have it. I was so greedy for the sacrifice room. Go into here, grab the HP. I guess play the sacrifice room. We still want to get as many items as possible, right? Keep playing it. I think that's the idea. Because the more items we kind of get, the higher chance we get something that actually probably supports the run in some way. Oh, another eternal heart. Oh, I should have picked it up. Why did I pick it up? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we have the, uh, I accidentally had the urn open, but I guess it's fine. Well, that was, you know what? I think Azazel's Rage was a good play. You see how many freaking like little things we got? The little, uh, I guess charges. That was actually pretty good. Grab the money. Um, let's go find the shop. Shops are going to be another source of items, so they're definitely a must play. But yeah, past that, I, I guess this is the run. I mean, it's not, I guess this isn't that bad. Maybe I got really unlucky when I did it the one time on stream. Maybe. We'll see. I think we still have to think quite a bit here. Is that worth going for? Maybe. We might also get flight. And then we don't have to do it that way. Would have been nice to get the brimstone beam in here. I guess if we count the rooms, we can be a little bit more tactical with it and like save it for a big room or something. Because typically big rooms, more enemies. This is kind of tough to maintain our charges. Can we like hold still for one second, please? <laughs> um, where's our shop? I think okay, we're we're good. Never mind. We really need an orbital in the run. If we get an orbital in the run, I think most of our problems are immediately fixed because kind of back in the day, it used to be a meta idea to play with orbitals like sacrificial dagger. It used to be so good that you just needed that. If you got sacrificial dagger, you were set. Do I grab the soul heart? I don't think it's worth. It kind of is. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to let it sit there for a second. I don't want to just I guess use I don't know. Or I, I, we need items. We need items. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a very good defensive item. Oh, wow. Um and there's no reason to play the sacrifice room anymore. Well, I guess we just fight the boss. Hopefully he's easy. Oh, it's okay. Well, it's easy when you do this. Oh, shite. Um, okay. I'm alive. That's the important part. That was very scary. I thought we were about to die. We go down. So we're going to get an eternal heart here. Let's try and actually proc the eternal heart to the next four, but no promises. It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough to keep it. Well, I didn't know we were going to have the brimstone beam there, which was actually really convenient. Got kind of lucky there because I was totally unaware that we were going to have it for that room. Full health pill is insane. A full health pill is insane. A health up pill is even crazier. If we can get a full health pill, we get like we change out the guppy's paw for like, I don't know. Placebo. And we go, like, absolutely crazy with it. This is why we need a freaking orbital. We wouldn't have to kill those diglets with the um, flamethrower if we had an orbital. I could just walk up to them. They're very easy to dodge. Okay, more HP. Oh, buddy in a box is huge! Buddy in a box is huge? Because now, technically, I can attack. Technically, I can attack. So it's a little goofy, but sure. <laughs> I will take it. 
It's better than nothing. Oh my god. You know what? Just pop him. Pop him. Walk him. Polka dot him. There we go. And then, I don't know. Break the freaking dark poop. Get a free hits in. That way we keep our kind of charges up. Nice. Perfect. Do we get the brimstone? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're talking about, baby. Go into there. Definitely get the freaking eternal heart. I need an HP up. That's what we're talking about. We actually got something going. Maybe the first run I did with, with this was actually like just really unlucky. Because it's going really well right now. Soul Heart City. I mean, another good thing would be like a way to generate more soul hearts. Like Book of Revelation wouldn't be bad. Oh, shit. Please, let's let's calm down. You don't have to do this to me, Bambino. You don't have to do this to me, Bambino. You don't have to do this. We can, like, peacefully negotiate. We don't have to fight. Make love, not war. Die? I don't I, I don't know if it does anything, to be perfectly honest. We're going down. I just want to get this done with. Because the, the challenges, I think, are the last, like, headache we have to do. And by challenges, I specifically mean ultra hard. Ultra hard is going to be a pain in the ass. I mean, listen. To those who have done it, I applaud you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do it at least three times. It sucks. I already did a stream where I like did it for like seven hours. I did not get it. It was very sad. It, it's just entirely RNG based. So if you don't get good RNG, you're screwed. Like you can be like, oh, you know, just skill issue. Oh, uh, just, uh, you know, don't get hit with Mel. It's not that simple. And you know, it's not that simple. <laughs> well, at least the game's being kind of nice with the money. It's being really nice with the sacrifice rooms too. Do we take the hit here or do we hold on eternal hearts have been rather common maybe they're buffed in the the challenge because if we can find another eternal heart we can immediately get an hp up which is really nice we have golden bombs so i guess we can attack for free on this floor which is actually crazy because we were actually a little low on our flamethrower there so kind of nice i'll take it broken stopwatch you gotta love it when it procs it's kind of nice that we got that as an item a nice little backup insurance even better if we can get like uh an orbital because slow down enemies plus orbital is just free it's free kills i mean maybe it's not the most optimal way to kill but it's it's free kills oh well that's there goes the eternal heart so oh, okay we just we kill we kill why am i trying to fight them the stupidest way possible i don't know maggie's faith i i think we keep i want to gulp it but I, I don't know if there's a gulp. I don't think there's a gulp, to be honest. It's just not seeming like a gulp kind of run. It's not the secret room? Or did I miss? I might have missed. Oh, it's not the secret room. Okay. I was thinking it was. Uh, do this. Get a little crazy with it. I'm going to keep playing these because it's just a good idea. Okay. I wish the brimstone beam lasted a little longer, but I guess free damage is free damage. I shouldn't be looking a gift horse in the mouth. Bomb these. I mean, we have golden bombs. No reason not to. That's why. And free soul heart. Listen, there's probably going to come a point eventually where the soul hearts are going to be very, very necessary. And we will be glad to pick up any of them. Okay, where's our secret room? I actually want to get into it because... Oh, there we go. Because it could have an item. You never know. This does not have anything I want unless... No. Okay. Well, we're getting kind of close to... Oh, well, I was going to say we're getting kind of close to being able to buy something in the shop. But we definitely can buy something in the shop now. Keep bombing. I mean, it's, it's free bomb city, so why not? Take all this. Go into the shop. What do you got for me? Blanket. Yeah, sure, why not, right? Or maybe we should re-roll. I guess we could buy and then re-roll. It's an option. It's an option. What do you got for me? Mama Mega. Mama Mega. Hold on. Swallow Penny. Hold on. There's ideas. There's ideas. The ideas are cooking. Swallow Penny's huge. It's a massive go-getter. Jesus Christ. It's Spider City, apparently. Jesus. Okay, nothing. Hmm. We could still get money here. Let me, let me think. It's possible. It's possible. High Priestess. Give me another card. I feel like I've seen that twice now. 
This will get us a couple cents. Oh, okay. It's going to get us more than a couple cents. Then we go back. Well, we, we just need to get some HP. We don't necessarily need to go back. The super secret room would actually be kind of nice to get. Wherever it's at. I'm not sure. But that would be nice because that's just free HP more than likely. Typically, they have HP in it. We'll see. Bombs are key. Oh, well, that's not good. That's not good because now we don't have infinite bombs. And we have no bombs, actually. That's, um... Huh. Huh. I mean... <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm a little mad about that. <laughs> I'm a little mad about that. Okay, we have a couple bombs here. We're playing a dangerous game. We have one heart. Bill, <laughs> come on. Don't be stupid. I think it's over here. It's a super secret room right next to the shop, and we just never checked. Uh, no, I don't know where it's at. We don't have any ways to get HP. Oh, this is unfortunate. Where is my super secret room? It's, it's either up or it's down on that bottom right room. I'm going to guess here. Let's go. HP. It's not HP, but it is a lot of bombs. I mean, it's a free hit. Hold on. That could teleport us into the angel deal. It's possible. Oh, hold on. Free bombs. Free bombs. We take. I can't get those chests. That's really annoying. Oh. 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 Well, we bombed this guy, clearly. Why? I don't know. Why do we bomb him? There's no reason to bomb him. More angel deal chance, I guess. Welcome. Okay, he's dead. HP? Easy. It, that was clearly my intention. Did we go for the hit or are we going to be dumb? We're so gaming. Now we can take devil deals and not feel bad about it. Well, I mean, that wasn't a bad four. That wasn't a bad four at all. We have Swallowed Penny. Do we stay with Swallowed Penny? We get a free Devil Deal, by the way. We get a free Devil Deal? Gimpy? Gimpy's kind of massive. Gimpy's kind of massive. Hold on. There's nothing in here. Do we take Maggie's Faith? No. We don't take Maggie's Faith. We don't need it anymore. We don't need it. It's not actually necessary. So, I think we win. I mean... We have to be good enough to beat Isaac, but I mean, it's just Isaac. It's just Isaac. How hard could he be? <laughs> In some cases, he can actually be really fucking hard, but that's a, that's more of a rare thing. I think Swallowed Penny is more valuable just because popping into the shop and be able to buy whatever we want, especially when we get an arcade like that, that likely has a blood donation machine in it. Kind of crazy. Because Swallowed Penny does stack with it. Is there one in here? Yes, there is. And we also have a Judgment, which will be an HP up. More than likely. Gimpy. God damn, Gimpy. Say it ain't so. You want to give me an HP up, sir? It would actually be kind of cool. Oh, a Bone Heart. Don't mind if I do. Oh, you give me Little Chest? Well, we still have a free hit here, so we're still pretty safe, actually. We just need to get some HP. Curse of the Lost, kind of annoying, but whatever. There's an eternal heart right there, so they gotta be more common, right? They gotta be more common. I mean, we did also get the key pieces, which makes eternal heart spawns more common. Oh my god. Have mercy on me. I wanted that bone heart, and you stole it from me. Maybe. I don't know. It feels like the eternal hearts are pretty common in this run. I feel like it's probably deliberate, because, you know, HP is so important. Bill, speed up? I'll take it. We don't want another speed up past this point, but you know, it's fine. Book them. We're just, I mean, I think we're kind of set. I had a lot of problems with this, like, challenge before, and now I'm just like, it's kind of easy, though. It's actually really simple. It's elementary. Um, let's go to the... Let's go to the old shop, wherever it's at. I don't know where it's at yet. Hopefully, it's just, like, right around the corner. Hopefully. <laughs> I guess we don't need Guppy's Paw anymore at all. Like, it... Where's the HP coming from? Was... Was that a... Was that a HP champion? Or am I crazy? That was a normal enemy, wasn't it? Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe HP's also spawning for free? 
I don't know. I feel like I'm going crazy here. I'm seeing things that aren't real. Oh my god. The so Swallowed's Penny spawned a nickel? And then the Blood Donation Machine also spawned a nickel. That was insanely lucky. I mean, we have we had 34 cents now. I mean, we just go find the shop. And we're like smooth sailing. Hopefully, it's a re-rollable shop. Oh, if it's a re-rollable shop, I mean... No, that was a normal enemy. He dropped HP. What's happening? Why'd that happen? I don't know why he dropped HP. What? I'm so confused. He's not supposed to drop HP like that. Can you get him, buddy, in a box? Actually, you did. Damn. You must be doing 3.5 damage, because that was... That was pretty quick. Humbling bundle. That's an easy grab. We grab this. We bomb this man. And then we're just like, it's smooth sailing. Dude, it's it's smooth sailing. Honestly, though, Yara Flies versus Guppy's Paw. Yara Flies is like an easy cakewalk. Because we will get a fly every time an enemy dies. Every time an enemy dies, we get a fly. And then we spawn the flies. Then they die. They feel the, they feel the urn. Is this an infinite cycle? Have we discovered infinite energy? Hold on. We may have. We may have. This isn't a good boss to test that on. Oh, yeah. I, what? <laughs> I haven't done that in so long. I spawned High Priestess on Mom, and she stomped me instead. Oh, I'm so... I'm an idiot. I knew that I knew that would happen. It's just been so long since I was, I've was. done it. I wasn't thinking. Dude, HP is coming out of nowhere. What the fuck? So, wait, hold on. The flies, they die. They die. Okay, but it's a boss, so technically we're not getting the charges. Holy shit, we got boss rush? Wait a minute, we got boss rush with this? Daddy long clicks. Mulligan, though. Hold on. Eden's blessing? Will that actually apply to the next round? That's crazy. Um. Oh, I wish we had a teleport card. We still could, actually. Hold on. Because I don't want to fight this. Your boy's going to be real. I hear we got a teleport card. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Well, I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter what happens. So, I mean, we have daddy long legs. We can't run out of charges. I mean, it's set. The run is solved. The run is solved. Well, this was fun. I like this. It went a lot better than I remember it going before. I had a fun time with this run. I'm acting like it's completely over, but, like, it kind of is. I mean... We kind of have a setup here. I'm, I'm fine. I would be fine with the setup in a normal run. If, we, if this was a normal run, we'd be like OP because we would have our normal tiers still, which would be really crazy. I guess we go down. I mean, why not? I, I kind of want some more angel deals, to be honest, just for the, the fun aspect. But we haven't even gotten our normal angel. Well, we yeah, we haven't gotten our devil deal. So we can't get the freaking guaranteed angel deal yet. But if we get it on this floor, technically, there is a chance. It's a non-zero chance. Because if we get it on this four, on the next four, it should be a 34% chance for an angel deal, guaranteed. Okay, I, I don't know where the HP is coming from. I'm sure there's an item doing it. Typically, when I say this at this point, you guys like go, uh, yeah, it's because you had this item. And I'm like, wait, that does that? <laughs> I'm like, I, I put so many hours into Isaac and I'm like, I don't know the basic function, like function of this weird item. I don't know where the HP is coming from. I actually have no idea. It can't be Blanket. Blanket only gives you Holy Mantle on boss. And also gives you, like, HP to start with. But, like, that's it. It's Little Chest. No, it's not Little Chest. Because it's been happening when we kill the enemies. And it, it drops like it's a champion item. No, it's not. It's not Little Chest. But Little Chest probably has dropped a couple hearts. I mean, yeah, like, that That, that came from the enemy, right? Because there there's a tentacle right there. It would have dropped from the chest, which, you know, obviously is almost always behind me. I don't know. I, I actually have no idea. I'm sure one of you know, and you will be typing your comment already. You probably typed it the first time I asked, to be honest. Queen of Hearts? Kind of crazy, though. That's a good emergency, just like, get out of jail free card. So, is this infinite energy? I think it is. Yeah, I, it, it definitely is. So, like, we get an equal amount back than we, like, that we put in. But we just have to use the... 
I mean, that's a free kill on mom's heart. <laughs> that's just a free kill on mom's heart. I, I think we use that just for the fun. The fun aspect. Pop this. Grab this. I wasn't even thinking a humbling bundle there, doubling those hearts. <laughs> that makes that so much better. Imagine we got 20 hearts and like half of them are just double hearts. Dude, Dark Bum would be having a field day. One makes you small? Full health pill? Luck down. Oh god, there's like so many luck down pills in here. Actually, there's only one other one. Crazy. There is full health pities. Oh, what the hell is with the full health? Bro, what the fuck? Okay, well, get out of here. I'm not popping the golden pill. I know it's like, oh, do it, do it, coward. No, I refuse. I'm winning this. I'm winning this run. I refuse to go down like that. For all I know, I would like fuck over my like tier stat or something. <laughs> Pop the flies. Makes it easy. Where's the hands? Fuck them. Oh, God. It's one of these rooms where the hands like keep coming down in like waves. Good thing it's slowed down. Is that another hand? No, it's not another hand. Can you come out of your uh, weird meat sack? I don't even know what he is. Like, what is he supposed to be? Most of the enemies in the game represent something. Typically health ailments. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's supposed to be. He's like a worm coming out of like a... Really? The, the... Okay, bye. I know the boss is up here. <laughs> he doesn't want to come out. Hey, we got an eternal heart. Oh, that's uh, free damage. That That's free damage. Oh, we can pop Jarrah Flies while doing the flamethrower. That's actually like BM as hell. Oh, you're alive still? Not for long. We didn't get the devil deal. 23% chance. We must have gotten hit at some point. Very sad. Okay, well... Do we take black? It doesn't matter. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work unless we got like Incubus. It wouldn't do anything. Maybe it would work on the Brimstone Beam though, but that seems like unnecessary to go for. <laughs> that just seems like a little extra for no reason. If you ever do wonder why I don't take an item or I just do something like weird, it's like, oh, you could have just taken that and it's easy. I either just don't care because it's like it doesn't matter either way or... It, it just, it, I, I just don't have fun with that item. Because you might be like, oh, why don't you D20 in like a, a greed mode run? Like, well, let's just say it's that. I think an example. It's because a lot of the times it's just not fun to do that. Like, yeah, you can break it. Uh, I've done videos on it multiple times now. If you want to watch them, they're there. <laughs> I, I don't feel like doing that every time. It's not the most fun thing in the world. Because like, I literally stand there for an hour doing the same thing and then some items like mom's knife for example i probably won't take mom's knife usually in a run because it's not that fun of an item oh wow i would love to just poke the enemies for the next 30 minutes <laughs> no i, I don't I, I like playing like a run like this is actually very fun because it, it's it's interesting it's unique now i thought it was going to be hard to be honest because it was kind of hard in my first try with this but eh, it's not bad I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. What is a weird room? Wait, I don't think I've seen this room variation before. There was two skull heads here? What? Now, this is a very common room variation. I can't recall ever seeing that room variation before, though. The other one. Oh, you, you bastard. Well, we get a free kill on the boss here anyways. We have so many keys. Uh, uh be careful. The Mega Brimstone does push you around a little bit. There's like a little bit of knockback. I was kind of scared about running into the spikes. Seraphim would be crazy to get in the run, though. Uh, none of these are worth taking, though, right? Because Ayabuaya won't do anything. <laughs> False PhD does nothing for me at this point. I mean, whatever. Let's just go. We're not fighting Hush. I refuse. It, it, like, I could fight Hush... I refuse, though. I want to get the challenge done. Hopefully, whatever the reward is out of this is good, but... As far as I'm aware, we have all the good items. So, there is really nothing else that we're going to get in the game. That is like, whoa, Pog Chungus. We already have everything. But maybe I'm not... Maybe there is something that's, like, still kind of good, but not, like, relevant enough for me to go, oh, yeah, that. But Twisted Pear was literally the last thing that we got that was like, hey, that's kind of goaded with the sauce, though. 
But that one's like extra goaded. That's like a best item in the game kind of item. But now I, I, it's like we're just kind of beating the marks. I mean, we got kind of all the setup done. And we just beat the marks that are kind of tough. Like Tainted Lazarus Green Mode. Which was designed for some weird reason. I don't know who thought of it, but they need fired. Number Magnet. I mean, sure, why not? It, do it doesn't matter. It, it, this is the last four. Well, a penny also does not matter. It's not going to do anything. Book them. I don't even think we could run out of soul hearts if we ran out of, like, charges. Like, we just have, like, too much going on right now. I hate these ghosts so much. I'm awkwardly sitting here while he just pops up. And, of course, he's on the wrong side of the room. I thought we were about to miss him. Grab the soul hearts. Don't mind if I do. Or rather, soul heart. Oh, nice room. Which, uh, you know, I'm not going to go for it. There's, there's no reason to. The run's over. Oh, that was a sped up room. I didn't even realize. I think we got really lucky there. The rare chance that broken stopwatch fucks you over. The worst absolute time that could happen. Hush fight or delirium fight. I've had it happen before, too. It, it's it's terrible. It, it's just like an immediate... Oh, fuck. It's like the worst feeling in the game. Okay, I guess we're I guess we're out of here. Pop the flies, head in there, kick his ass. It should be an easy fight because we have soul. Should be a very very easy fight. And see, now we're using our soul hearts, which is how the run's supposed to kind of be played. It's supposed to be like a, a resource management kind of like challenge, but like we kind of negated it. We negated it almost immediately. Bro, technically didn't even get a hit on me because of the holy mantle. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, Purgatory. Um, Purgatory, I can't remember what it does. But it's not that exciting. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. The first run was a fail. I'm just going to cut to the end of that, probably. And you guys are going to be like, Oh, what the hell? Why, we missed out on that epic Tainted Jacob run. Well, you know what? We got a challenge done. It's just as good, probably. I don't know. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.